Hey guys, it is good to see you all again. Trying to uh, <clears throat> look up here and make sure that my my volume is turned all the way up on my uh, on my microphone, and it is. So uh, yeah, it's good to see you guys again. Of course, today is Thursday, July the eighth, two thousand ten. That makes it day one eighty nine on our Project Jesus three sixty five. It is good to see you guys again today. Um, guys, I, I apologize. I'm going to have to make another kind of short one tonight. I tell you guys, I've just been, I tell you, I'm about to be run ragged. I don't, to be honest, I don't know how much long, how much more I can take. You know, I, um, I'm having to work such long hours trying to like, a, you know, where I don't have, uh, <laughs> where I'm shorthanded at the shop and then I'm having to come home. Mom's car's running a little bit rough, so I've been I've been working all evening on it, trying to diagnose it and see what's wrong with it, so I can get parts bought for it. Um, you know, I'm rebuilding a, a dirt bike engine out here. You know, I'm having to, like I said, I'm having to bring stuff home and work on them. I'm just uh, I'm getting so far behind that I I don't know I I, I think I'm in front. So uh, anyway, guys, just pray for me. You know, I need it right now. I'll be honest. I'm. I need it worse, as bad as I've ever, you know, that's kind of the funny thing about it, you know, I, uh, you know, I've always had problems with business being bad and things like that, you know, turning bad, and, and you know, right now it's not, you know, right now business is, is as much as I could hope for, but my problem is now I can't get it done, you know, I don't, I don't have enough help to get it done, so, uh, you know, it just seems like it's always something, it's always the devil attacking me, um, uh, you know, it's either the devil attacking me or it's the Lord testing me. You know, either either way, you know, I've just got to stand stand firm in the Lord. And I'm just going to ask for your guys' prayers. You know, I know you've been praying for me, so I just want to ask that you continue to pray for me. Um, you know, uh, like I said, that's all I can do. You know, uh, which I'll admit this evening, you know, uh, like I said, Mom's car has been running rough for a little while. You know, I've been... Um, I bought a new $8,000 uh, the scanner, automotive scanner, you know, to do cars with. I already had one, had a decent one, but uh, it wouldn't do near what this one will do. So I've been, you know, trying to learn it and learn all what it'll do. So I decided I'd spend the evening on Mom's car uh, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. So uh, that's what I've been doing. So, you know, not too hard to work. You know, I've, you know like I said, I've been kind of learning how everything operates on it and, uh so it's not been too bad, but yeah, guys, just pray for me. You know, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff right now. I mean, I don't know. I I could sit here and just tell you for the last two weeks, man, it's just been one thing after another. I'm trying to rebuild this engine out here for this guy and this motorcycle. You know, I've ordered parts for it and got all the parts in. I've got, you know, $300 close to it tied up in parts. I get the engine took apart. And notice that one of the cases is busted. One of the left-hand case on it's busted. So now I'm sitting here either I'm trying to find a used case or trying to find somebody that can weld this one up. I'm not having any luck. So here I said I can't get the money from this guy because I can't get it done. Um, Co company truck that I've got down here they've been working on for a month or two months probably putting an engine in it. Got the engine put in it and uh, one of the windows won't roll up on it. Uh, which actually it was doing this before we put the engine in it, but I was just trying to fix it for them. So I pulled the truck on the rack last night and let it sit in the shop overnight. Went to pull it out today, pulled the truck in reverse, and it wouldn't move. We've been driving the truck for two weeks, you know, driving fine. Put it in reverse, wouldn't move, making a bad noise. So I got my boroscope out and looked back in the transfer case, and uh, the planetary gear, the planetary set in the in the transfer case in reverse has stripped on this truck sitting still now guys sitting still on a rack this gear stripped um so now which it's no big deal to the coal company they say fix it but you know i've got to buy a buy transfer case that i really can't afford to buy i mean you know i'm not that strapped for cash right now but it's not that good either you know where i don't have any help getting work done um uh, and i'll be another week at least getting the truck done um, so anyway, guys, what I'm just getting at, everything seems to be hitting me right now. 
and like I said, I'm really having struggle, you know, problems with, with my worker, you know, I, uh, I don't know, uh, like I said, he won't, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing, I, I think he's quit, I'm not for sure, or he's wanting to start working part-time now or something, and I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to do that, I got to have somebody that'll work every day, uh, but guys, just pray for me. That's what I'm getting at. I know I've rambled for five minutes basically just to say that, but pray for me, please. Anyway, guys, one thing that always does make me feel better, and that's getting into God's Word. So here we go. Starting tonight in Romans chapter 4, verse 1. Here we go. What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory but not before God. For what saith the Scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also describeth the blessedness of a man, unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. You know, guys, I'm going to stop there tonight. That's nine verses. You know, I just kind of wanted to put out, you know, that in verse 4 it talks about here. It says, "Not Now to him that, that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. You know, the works don't save us. You know, the grace is what saves us. Faith in the Lord, faith in Jesus, and his blood is what saves us. But the way I read this here, it's talking about not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But, you know, when we get saved... The Holy Spirit convicts us, and we feel like we've got a debt to the Lord, because we do got a debt to the Lord. And we need to do everything we can to repay that debt. We need to work and strive and do everything that we can humanly do to repay Jesus for what he done for us. You know, because we can never do it. Well, I mean, we can try. We'll still never repay him. You know, we can't, we can't repay what he done, but we can try. And that's what our works are. You know, they're trying to repay the Lord for what he's done for us. Anyway, guys, I hope someone gets a blessing out of this. Like I said, please continue to pray for me. You know, I'm, uh, I've been praying all night tonight. You know, I've been praying and crying out to God, you know, just, you know, because I'm, I'm having a hard time right now. You know, I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, I'm having a hard time with, like I said, with, with, you know, with just everything that's going on to shop and my worker. And, you know, and one thing about it, too, you know, he's worked for me for eight years. You know, he, he's like part of the family, and I don't know, I just, I can't figure out what he's doing, I can't figure out why he's doing it, you know, I can't, you know, I don't know why somebody that you're that close to, you know, just kind of walks away from you and don't give you no explanation, or, you know, knowing that they're leave, leaving you hanging, knowing that they're, you know, I don't know. So anyway, guys, just, just pray for me, pray that the Lord uh, will work everything out, and that the Lord, either way, that the Lord will uh, put it in my heart. You know, to forgive, you know, because uh, I'm not going to lie, you know, I feel some resentment, some resentment right now, and I don't like feeling it, you know, I don't like doing it. So guys, just pray for me, and I, uh, good Lord willing, I'll see you guys here again tomorrow night, uh, at least tomorrow's Friday, because Friday don't mean anything to me, we work Saturdays too, so, uh, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night, good Lord willing, guys, I love you all, good night, and God bless.